Hi guys, today we are going to make an art journal page and for the background I had an idea and that is that I will be using a quilt block and just um, make it uh, the dimensions correctly for my background which is not easy I have to tell or at least for me it was not easy but I will show you my process because I think it's easy and you can follow it. So uh, I will show you in a minute uh, the website where I take the design for the bullock. And in, in that case it was 12 by 12 uh, inches. But in my case uh, the space that I had for the background is 18 by 21 and as the design of the block is a square not rectangle i will be mm, using 21 by 21 centimeters and if i later i have to cut it uh, it doesn't matter i can do that so the i was uh, at the beginning taking measurements and notes of, um, in relation of what the website told me but in the end I thought it was easy another way to make it and I will explain you in a minute. So now I will show you in my computer how you can make it. This is the original design and I will leave you the website in the comment section. So here you have all the explanations about the block. And then what I made, it was simplify the design and make it in seven parts. So here I take the image and I put it on the word uh, of, um, of Windows. And the good thing is that you can scale the images uh, to the real dimension. So for example, in my case, I will put in the image uh, 21 uh, by 21 centimeters. So you make double click on the image and you go to the window of properties and then you can change the size of the image and it will be like the real dimension. So you have from here you have two options. One is to print uh, this image and just uh, take a rule and uh, take the measurements and the other way is in uh, the one that I chosen and is that you can uh, um, uh, play with the zoom of the page and make it uh, exactly 21 centimeters and from here I will show you in a minute uh, you take the rule and then take the measurements directly on the computer so in that way is not necessary to print anything you just take the measurements and take notes and that's it and um, for me it's uh, better because i don't want to waste um, ink of the printer and paper so here you have the the process so i put the image in my computer and i will be using the rule to uh, make sure that uh, the image in total is 21 centimeters and then I am just taking note of the different measurements of the different uh, um, parts of the quill. As you can see, I put some numbers on each part and I simplify it in seven parts. And you will have in my blog all the measurements that you need for make this um, concrete, uh, this um, this blog but I think it's a good methodology if you want to uh, uh, make any blog that you want just put it on your computer and take measurements and in that way it's an easy way to take it
So as you can see, uh, I made a test and it worked. So uh, I just uh, continue working. In my case, I am going to use a scrapbooking paper and also a mixed media paper that I will be making. In my case, I am using just a photocopy paper, a simple one, and a freezing bag <laughs> is just as simple as that. And um, I will be using acrylic paint. So I'm just putting the acrylic paint uh, onto the, the back and just make some prints. So as you can see here, I am choosing the paper that I will be using. In my case, it's a collection of the um, uh, Agateria collection. It's, Agateria is a Poland brand that I love. And I am just choosing the papers. In my case, in the end, I will be using this floral one. And I am just cutting the seven parts that uh, are the basics for the block. And I will leave you with the work. So here I have this, the seven uh, basic parts and now I have to cut um, by half uh, the squares and some parts of the corners of the rectangle ones and I am just doing that and then uh, I don't know if you are used to make uh, quill blocks but the most difficult is uh, that the both pieces uh, um, are perfectly aligned and it's not easy and then in the end I I experimented one way and is that you can put together both pieces that you are that the pieces that are going to be together and just cut it together in that way as you can see now I'm putting um, uh, the pieces together 
and then cut the part that I need to cut and in that way it matches perfectly so it's just a little trick to do it So here I have all the pieces and now uh, instead of sewing the pieces I will be using washi tape uh, to glue it down the pieces and um, more or less I have the, the block. Uh, so uh, this is all for today because it's the first part. In the second I will be showing you how I made in the end uh, my art journal page because I changed something, some things. And uh, this is all for today. I hope you like it. I wait for your comments. If you like it, just give me a thumbs up, please. And uh, see you next time. Bye.